of that. Yeah, uh, you're on the air, Jason. Or, hey, how yeah. are you? Or Al. Is it Al or Jason? This is Jason. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess... I guess uh, they're confused out yeah, there. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Hey. Hey. How you doing, Howard? All right. I was just saying, uh, so you're doing Jason Alexander a giant favor, calling him uh, Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. What was that, ages ago, decades ago? What are you talking about? You, you uh, Before you bring it in, Jason Alexander, you're, you're saying he's Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. That's yeah. like ancient history, isn't it? That's his big crap. What am I going to say? Jason Alexander of, of uh, Bob Patterson? Of KFC. Of KFC? Oh. I mean, from the commercial, I'm going to say? Yeah. What the, what the F are you talking about? He's washed up. Wow. He's, the most famous thing he's doing now is those KFC commercials. that They're flooding the airwaves with him. What, what do you mean? He was on Son of the Beach. What do you mean, washed up? Yeah. <laughs> he just did Son of the Beach. How you doing, Adam? About uh, two months ago. He did that monkey movie? Dunstan? Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Celebrity win Fred's money with Jason Alexander from Seinfeld. <laughs> I could beat Jason at that. <laughs> Let me see what he looks like. Ah, oh, there you look better than ever. Where are you going? Get, get you want to play? Get over there. Get, yeah, well, you're gonna play. You play. You're playing. I'm so far. Well, I'm closer to Rob. <laughs> hey, Rob. Hi there. This is you, very off-putting, Howard. Do you resent that I say you're Jason Alexander from Seinfeld? Yes, I do. You do? What would you like to be from? KFC? I did Son of the Beach. All right, do you want to be Jason Alexander from KFC and Son of the Beach? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, there Where you go. my career just shot up 20 minutes. <laughs> you are looking well. Thank you, darling. And, uh, the, no, the reason you're standing there is you've challenged Fred, I understand. I have. I've challenged Fred, which is a huge mistake. Well, you're a bright guy. You went to Boston University. <laughs> <laughs> I think I you didn't almost graduate. You didn't graduate. That's but, oh, I'm quite, a, quite a credential there. That's right. Yeah, Honorary you, doctorate, by the way. You know your gazintas. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear who I had uh, dinner with the other night? You're here. I know, Billy. Bill Shatner. Yeah, how Have did you that ever go? had dinner with him? No, I've had a, I had a, he was given to me as a birthday present, Robin. I yeah. had a brunch with him. Yeah. Which I'm sure is not as exciting as dinner. How'd it go? It was actually, uh, once we got, once I got over the, the whole shock of it, it was very nice. You're a started. huge Star Trek guy. I was a huge Star Trek guy. And, uh, I could have kicked his ass in that Star Trek game. Uh, I know. Jeez. You could have won the whore. See, that's oh, what he should have been playing. That's he should have right. been playing for the whore. That's my category. I have one category. <laughs> How'd you like the roast? Did you hear any of them? You, someone told me your favorite was nigger, 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 nigger. Oh, <laughs> Do you have any response to that? Uh, no, I know. No, you didn't hear the roast, obviously. No, I didn't hear the roast. All right. No. Well, let me tell you something. Yes, um, uh, this is exciting. Are you excited? Yeah. I like celebrity Winfred's money. Yeah. And Am I the first one to do this? You were now, the third. Is he going to take the, the money? Actually, the fourth. I'm the fourth. If he wins, he wins $10,000. Wow. Not for charity. Yes. Oh. Yes, wow. for charity. For charity? Wow. Why? Okay. All Jason's going to say is that he's playing for children's education. Don't That's do right. that. His children's education. That's You're okay. damn right, Robin. <laughs> it's, for the, it's for Jason's children's education. I got no problem with that. No, yeah. Jason has somewhere that he wants to send the money. Uh, no offense. We don't allow that. Uh huh. No money is to be given to charity, only to individuals. Okay, good. And you're getting all the money. All right, fine. That's where it's going. All right. Believe me, that's where it's going. We're the only show that doesn't allow celebrities to play for charity. But there are some people who are wondering if he needs them. <laughs> no, come on. Don't you, well, that, listen, despite what that last caller said, he's very happening. I yeah. am. I am happening. I think you know what? Oh, I didn't think he wasn't man. happening. How but dare that? Does man. he still have to work? We're, We're still wondering if that last season of Seinfeld sort of put him over into that. He's long he loaded. He loaded. You yeah. know what a KFC commercial national pays? Huge. What is it? Well, you know, I have a three-year deal, Howard. Yeah. This is not a spot-by-spot spot spot negotiation. Spot I'm going to guess you're making like $30,000 a year from that. Oh. You know? <laughs> Howard, nobody on that show has more endorsement deals than him. You had that. You had a deal with the pretzel company, right? Right. I was the uh, I was pretzel boy for a while. Don't you think all of these endorsements, while the money is good, hurts your acting career because you become a, too identified as a pitch man? I have no career, Howard. Oh, okay. That's good. You're not worried. I'm an actor. I'm a whore. <laughs> I take what they give me. Do you get free chicken from KFC? Yes, I do. Really? How does that work? Like, you walk into any KFC and say, hey, give me what some chicken? Like I have chicken checks. Do you really? Check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you ever use them? I have I used them. Junior high. Right. You got a chicken check? In I there? have chicken checks. I have, you know, because uh, KFC is part of a corporation called Yum. 
Yeah. And uh, that's so that's Taco Bell and Pizza Hut and uh, Long John So. Can I, you spend I can, chicken checks at all of them? You can't believe me. I can go across this country in style. And <laughs> KFC uh, changed its name from Kentucky Fried Chicken to yeah. KFC right. because the chicken isn't real, right? They can't legally oh, say chicken. You, it's not the C. It's the F that they didn't like. <laughs> oh, they didn't like the fry. They didn't like the yeah. fry the connotation. I, I see. thought it was yes. chicken. It there was a rumor going around in the black community that uh, it wasn't really chicken. It was something else. So they had to change the name legally to KFC, which was like one of those old wives tales yeah. or, or you know one of those rumors right, that goes around was, oh but I suppose Popeye's was chicken right? that's, <laughs> that's why you can call it Popeye right. <laughs> yeah what are the other urban legends um, that that uh, on cool cigarettes the two O's represent handcuffs for slavery oh. well you know what oh, that, was, Pop, yeah. that Popeye's oh, yeah. puts uh, something in the chicken that makes black men not get erection Saul Peter yeah yeah, man, it keeps them soft. Well, that is true. That is true. Imagine yeah. the utopia we Bla- live in. Black people in. and, and short. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you know well, you know what the KFC thing was? They were saying they were using eight-legged chickens. Eight. That they, that they were uh, that they were chemically grown, right. so they couldn't legally That's be chickens. That's why you get all those legs. Yeah. <laughs> That was the rumor. That was an urban myth. Wow. So it was that the, the chickens all had eight legs. Sure. <laughs> there's a great, there's a Snapple one that says that if you look at the Snapple bottle, there's a K on there, right. which stands for KKK, and that what that is is a slave ship. Right. But really, what it's a picture of is a Boston Tea Party. But if you go up to black people and say, that's really just a, you know, it's not a slave party ship. Right. And they'll go, uh, yeah, okay. And you know what? Those rumors get started for a reason. Right. There's always some truth in them. Tommy Hilfiger makes his clothes... Um, what is that one, Fred? It's, a, it's, a, it's something about Tommy Hilfiger makes his clothes uh, to represent like prison wear or something like that. Oh no, I know. Tommy Tommy Hilfiger said, "I don't want black people buying my clothes." He said it on Oprah's show, but it never happened. But it never happened. Wasn't there one about Starbucks was supposed to be uh, satanic? Proceeds were going to white supremacy movement or something like that. Yeah, that was one for a while. I remember. Well, that one's true. If you the Procter mean. and Gamble one had to do <laughs> yeah. with the symbol. That's what it, that was satanic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Procter and Gamble had thirteen stars on the packaging, so, yeah. they, so they said that was because they were in Satan. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. And none of these are true, by the way. No. Even the one I just said was true. Well, you know, certainly I, not the KFC one. Right. They did. They did, Oprah did a show about that, and she they she said you know she had all these uh, prominent black people, and she said, listen. I never had Tommy Hilfiger on my show, and he never said that. And they said, "Well, you know what? There's a if there's a rumor. There's a there's a reason why there's you know it's got to be a little <laughs> okay." Show. Was it your show? <laughs> yeah, some other show. Yeah, Charlie, you're on the air. Yeah, I saw on the website, uh, Jason. Can you confirm this that uh, from this deal you own a KFC? They gave you a KFC, and it's a really <laughs> black na- and it's in a really oh. black neighborhood. Oh no, a really black. Well, neighborhood. really black neighborhood. <laughs> that would be a a great franchise, actually. <laughs> yeah, not bad. No, I uh, to my knowledge, I don't own. You were paid cash. I, I you get a check, yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't, don't you think Jason makes mad money from syndication? Sure. I don't. I swear to you, I don't. That How is that true. be? You want to know an incredible story about KFC? I should tell sure. you this. Uh, I was a little kid. I, I don't know, maybe 10 years old. My dad used to take us to this restaurant called Vibrox in Freeport. It was like a little, a fancy little diner. Uh-huh. Every Sunday we'd go to Vibrox, and my dad would order chicken, and we would order the chicken. Everyone ordered the chicken. And it was really good. Fried chicken was just great. My dad, every Sunday, can't wait to go to Vibrox. So my dad asks, what is this chicken you make? It's delicious. They said, well, it's a a company down south that sells us a recipe called Colonel Sanders Kentucky Fried Chicken, but you just buy the recipe. Right. So my dad's reading the paper about a year later, and he sees a company's going public called Kentucky Fried Chicken. He goes, God damn, I've been eating that stuff every Sunday for the last 10 years. They're going public. Before any of the franchises, before right. anybody ever heard of it, stock was going on the market for like a buck. He turns to my mother. He goes, I'm investing everything in this chicken. <laughs> she goes, chicken? <laughs> You're going to invest our money in chicken? What are you, crazy? It's chicken. So my father goes, uh. And he doesn't put a dime into KFC. Yeah. It opens up on the market. It, I think it went from a dollar to like a hundred twenty-five dollars oh, and, and, and kept going. I mean, it's a huge company. Oh, sure. Now, now everybody knows. My father calculates if he'd even put like you know fifty grand in, he'd be a multi-millionaire today. You'd have that little nest egg you were looking for. So once again, my point: my dad was so worthless. <laughs> <laughs> even put... when he knew something, <laughs> yeah. it did him no good. He called me an idiot, but who's a bigger idiot? Well, he's not worth it. He's just hand-packed. Right. Isn't your mom a bigger idiot? Well, you know what? They both made a real blunder. Does she remember these times? Oh, yeah. She remembers that story.
Because he's been blaming her ever since. <laughs> look at the Kentucky Fried Chicken! <laughs> <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Sit down! Shut up! I'm anxious to see how you do against Fred. Yeah, me too. What made you decide to do this? Well, there was one other game can I play on this damn show. <laughs> All right, see Jason Alexander and the man who saved Christmas this Sunday night. I know night. you'll be there, Howard. Nine o'clock on CBS. What, what is that about? I, I don't care. I know. <laughs> it's actually, it's, if you have a family, if you have young children, it's a lovely now, little Christmas holiday. Now, why do you have to bring that up? Yeah, you know, I do have young children, but I it's a painful situation. It while your movie's <laughs> on. While your movie's on, I'm with you. You, uh... You're in this. What do you, you play Santa Claus? No, it's not Santa Claus. It, it's actually a, it's a biopic about the guy who invented the erector set, but he had a very interesting thing in his life where he was... Uh, it's a documentary on the guy who invented the erector set? Yeah, it's not a documentary. He did a thing. Congress, it was during World War One. Congress was going to ban... Thank you so much. Congress was going to ban <laughs> Christmas, and he got the around. Congress was going to ban Christmas? They were going to ban the celebration of Christmas. No, they year. weren't. And it was a national thing, and everybody was going to take the money and put it into war bonds, and this guy went in and turned it all around. It was actually a very nice little story. But Not should it really true. be on TV? Well, uh, uh, I think apparently. you just told it. Yeah, I think I don't have to watch it now. Who's the, who's the hot chick in the show? You got a hot chick in the show? Uh, no. She is a hot chick, although in the period garb, she doesn't look so great. Who's that? Uh, Kelly Rowan. Never heard of her. I know. You will. What's she been in? Uh, she does a lot of TV stuff. Boomtown. She's uh, recurring on Boomtown right. this year. Lovely Canadian actress. And Ed Asner, of course. Is I'm making a movie about a, the guy who invented the game Yahtzee. <laughs> yeah. See. He wanted to There's shut down Easter. He wanted to close down Easter one year. The government did, but he stepped up. Hey, Adam, didn't you save Arbor Day once? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I had a hand in saving uh, Groundhog Day as well. Jay well, Jason, this is uh, Adam Carolla hello, from, Adam. from Son of the Beach of and course. Burger King. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, if you if you beat Fred, you should donate that money to PETA. I think that would be a uh, an no, interesting like, that's angle. A, is that your organization? No, seriously, I want to make a statement right now. Jason really wants to play, and if he wins the money, he wants to give it to the Children's Education Endowment Fund. But I don't want to start that on this show, right? Because I think most celebrities really want the money for themselves. And they're embarrassed into giving the money to a charity on the air. You know, Howard, it would distort my whole tax you, picture for the year. I yeah, but you, do you understand what I'm saying? There are celebrities like Corey Feldman who come in here and go, oh, I have to give this to charity. Meanwhile, sure. I know he wants the money. Sure. Well, there are lesser celebrities. Yeah, I don't want to embarrass them. Howard, there are lesser celebrities. I know a guy who was on Hollywood Squares a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and they wanted him to give the money to charity, and he just took it. He did? Who's that? Uh, me. Oh. <laughs> they said, they said, I said, can I promote your charity? They go, you got to give the money. And I was like, well, I still need the money for myself. Yeah. You flew all the way out to L.A. Out? Yeah. Come on. All right. Here's the deal. Yeah. Fred, go in the soundproof booth. Robin's going to come out here. That's all right, Fred. All right, Fred. Fred, this is no disrespect. I have no confidence in this, by God. Uh, don't, don't, don't sell yourself no, short. We know I'm you're bright. You. We know no, you're bright. There's so much I don't know. All right. Well, listen, this is good. You can win. <laughs> you have weird knowledge. You're one of those guys. Yeah. If you have. So we're all wow. up here. Oh, here I got to lower that. That's the soundproof radio. I didn't realize the soundproof booth was Robin's office. I mean, yeah. that's. Well, he can't hear a thing. Okay. If he can, then the game really sucks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Here now we go. I'm going to give you seven questions. Right. If you want to pass, I can come back to them. But don't forget, you're also competing for time. Yeah. In yeah. the event of a tie, so right. sometimes it's not wise to go back. But here we go. You you decide. Okay. What two southern U.S. cities are linked by a stretch of I-40, known as the Music Highway? Yes. What does the abbreviation B-I-S, Biz, stand for at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show? B-I-S. Yes. What newspaper column is written by Pauline Phillips and her daughter, Jean? <laughs> Pass. What two characters on TV's New Heart never speak? Oh, the the brothers. Uh, the 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 two. Uh, is that good enough? No. Who joined Wayne right. Gretzky as the only NHLer to pot fifty goals in fewer than fifty games in 1989? Yeah, Bobby Orr. What sport gives strokers and crankers a chance to score <laughs> with love taps? <laughs> Um, uh, Time running out. Is that a pass? How many passenger seats is the Concorde equipped with? A uh, hundred. That's okay. Good. Okay, you, you just got a minute. You got one right. Wow. Yeah. You Can you believe that? Did get? Yeah. The Concorde. The Concorde. Believe it or not. Has a hundred. Has a hundred seats. Get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was so, a so shot in the dark. 
basically if Fred farts, he's they're even. <laughs> well, I got to tell you, these are hard. Let these me, are very well, hard. Sports yeah. I know nothing about sports. So it wasn't, yeah. I thought Bobby Orr is the only other hockey player I've ever heard. Let of. me tell you what the story is here. What two yeah. southern U.S. cities are linked by one a stretch is, of I-40 known as the Music Highway? One is Nashville and Southern. And the other one has to be Memphis, right? right? Nashville and yeah, Memphis. Memphis. Maybe okay. you guys should have played together. <laughs> what does the abbreviation BIS stand for at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show? Best in something. But Best, Best in, in show. show. Best like the movie. Show. Best in show, BIS. What newspaper column is written by Pauline Phillips and her daughter, Jean? Dear Abby. Yeah, Dear Abby. I thought that was Abigail Van Buren. No, that's Ann Landers. Uh, well, who? Uh, Whoever Abby, she is. Whatever. One is Ann Landers, but Dear uh, Abby's not. See, now I thought you would have known this one. What two characters on TV's New Heart never speak? I don't watch TV. Daryl and Daryl. Daryl and Daryl. That's yeah, right, Adam. Sure. Uh, These are hard. These are all hard. You know, it would take all of us to try to beat her. <laughs> Who joined Wayne Gretzky as the only NHLer to pot 50 goals in fewer than 50 games in 1989? Yeah, who? Mario, Mario Lemieux? That's right, Mario Lemieux. Wow. You know, if I had a flaming poker up my rectum, I would not have known that. <laughs> Let's see that. <laughs> oh, you're right. So, in other words, this whole issue of whether you give the money to charity was really moot. moot. <laughs> what gives... Let's see who knew this. What sport gives strokers and crankers a chance to score with love taps? Yeah. Well, that I don't know. High I, I would say curling. Yeah, uh, close. Bowling. Bowling? Yeah. I don't love think taps. so. Bowling, yeah. That's right. How many passenger seats are the Concord? A hundred. So you got one right. Wow. Now, I want you to do me a favor. When sure. you sit down on this couch... Yeah, look confident? Look confident. Okay. Because Fred could blow this. Yeah. You could end up winning this. Oh, absolutely. And then you keep the 10000 You deserve it. You know what? If I win this one, I'm keeping the 10 grand. <laughs> good. good. Yeah. Uh, can you plug who's giving us the ten grand? No, I will not do it. Oh, because we have to. Okay, then I'll do it. The $10,000 prize for Winfred's money is courtesy of Vermont Teddy Bear. It just wouldn't be Christmas without a Vermont Teddy Bear. You know there was a guy who uh, defended Christmas? In that court? A set guy. It's yeah. too bad that question wasn't on the test, Jason. You could have got one. Send a handmade Vermont Teddy Bear for the holiday or any occasion. Call 1-800-829-BEAR or shop online at vermontteddybear.com. They're a great company. All, All right. right. Fred is back in the room. Everybody be quiet. Fred is back. Back <laughs> again. Back again. Fred, I'm going to give you seven questions. I wish you a lot of luck. I'm not going to tell you how Jason did, uh, but he listened. I saw a lot of laughter, so that was either a laughing of glee or laughing of... Well, he just choked. Who knows? You just said more than you've ever said on the show, so let's stop you right now. <laughs> Who was that that's, talking? <laughs> that, that's my allotment for the let's year. Let's play Winfred's Money. What two southern U.S. cities are linked by a stretch of I-40 known as the Music Highway? Um, Nashville and Memphis. What does the abbreviation B-I-S stand for at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show? Best in show. What newspaper column is written by Pauline Phillips and her daughter, Jean? Uh... Dear Abby. What two characters on TV's New Heart never speak? Pass. Who joined Wayne Gretzky as the only NHLer to pot 50 goals in fewer than 50 games in 1989? Uh, the bold guy. Want to uh, say again? Who joined Wayne Gretzky as the only NHLer to pot 50 goals in fewer than 50 games in 1989? Oh, 1989. Pass. What sport gives strokers and crankers a chance to score with love taps? Uh, croquet. How many passenger seats is the Concord equipped with? Ninety. Oh, you want to stop the clock? Okay. Well, you won. Woo! Smoked me, Fred. Yeah, you smoked him. Uh, Jason. Well, you didn't do great, though. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I know I didn't do great. Those are some tough questions. They were here. tough this week. Uh, Jason got one right in one minute. Took the full Get minute. Out. Which one? The Concord, which you got wrong. Which, which well, of course, right? because I don't have the money to ride the Concord. <laughs> right. It's a hundred. Right. It's all relative. Spitting in the wind. All right, but you got. Uh, <laughs> there was like, what was the hockey question again? Was that was Mario now? Lemieux. Ah, because I was going to say that of the bald guy who plays with. Yeah, you got, uh, I think you said, uh, you got Dear Abby, you got Best in Show in Nashville and Memphis. You didn't know Daryl and Daryl, two characters on TV's New Heart. That yeah, was hard. They did it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That was actually three brothers, but one guy did all the talk. Right. What sport gives strokers and crankers? Bowling. Now, I don't know the strokers and I, crankers. I never heard that. And love taps. Yeah. I never heard that. No. You would think love taps. You'd figure it'd yeah. be something you had like to hit croquet something. Like or right. something, yeah. Something. Well, Fred, you've won your own you money go. again. Got good work. Fred. And uh, I got to say, Jason, uh, oh, you were horrible God. at the game. God. You were every bit as bad as I am. In fact, you were a little better than I am. But... Try and stump the buoy for as well as I am. You're not oh, kidding. Do you know music at all? No, I don't. <laughs> hey, can, I revisit, matter? can I revisit one question with Jason that we were talking about earlier? Yeah. Do you really not make any money off of syndication or are you just kidding? <laughs> I uh, People assume that I make Jerry money, which is, you know, astronaut. We make uh, standard SAG residuals, which are nothing to write home about. Wow. Eight seasons it was? Eight seasons? Nine. 
Don't you think your contribution to the show is every bit as important as Jerry's? Uh, every bit is important, no. But I think there's a percentage there. Uh, do, do you think that you signed a bad contract in the beginning because you were hungry? No, not at all. No, the contract was fine. It just the show became a phenomenon, and uh, Julia and Michael and I didn't uh, participate. We, we didn't phenomenize quite as much as I guess uh, you know. I read about Gilligan's Island and all these other things, and these guys are always saying, "Gee, we don't have any money and this and that." I think right. that all well, changed. They really don't. They don't. No. Well, they, you know, Fred and I were talking about this because Fred resents that celebrities play the game because they don't really lose anything. They don't need the money. Right. right. Oh, some of these celebrities we've had needed the money. <laughs> I, should, I should pay up. Is what they... But to me, like Hercules and, was hurting. And so Fred was thinking that maybe the celebrities should pay him. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see you get in here and play. There you go. And why did you get Jerry Seinfeld uh, as a baby gift? Uh, for for Sasha, we yes. got uh, I sent him two little outfits and, and uh, a little uh, toy thing. You did send an outfit. Yeah, two outfits. Yeah, what does that child need? What are you saying? Uh, I just wonder. <laughs> I was wondering if you would send an outfit. I didn't think you two were really talking to one another anymore. We don't speak much, but it's not because we we don't get along. We just don't. You know, we were the four of us were kind of work friends. Like uh, I'm sure you and Jackie are on the phone every day with each other. Jackie. <laughs> well, we were on the phone every day for a while. What is it, uh, Stuttering John? I read something where Jerry said there might be a reunion. Is that true? A reunion show? Nothing I've heard of. Jason wants to do it though. He's in. You're you're in if there is a reunion. Oh, we I'd love that negotiation. <laughs> no, he, he's going to be busy doing the man who saved Christmas too. Two. Okay. Saves it again. Well, now, wait a minute. Um, now each of the other co-stars of the show have had their shot at a series of their own. Right. Why bring that up? Well, well Gordy, because well, Jerry Julia's, Julia's still hanging in. Yeah, there I want, the you know, Julia's, there. you know, like... She's, she's still on? Not, no, she's a not right now. Replacement. But they did say they were probably going to bring it back. Oh, but, I, I think they're bringing it back. I know she got a show order, so... Good. Yeah. But Jerry goofs on them. Like, Jerry goes, ah, you know, two down and, you know, one to go. Talking about, you know, Jason yeah, and, and Michael. Kramer, yeah. yeah. Well, Jason does not like Jerry. <laughs> you're determined to have that be true aren't you? how's the marriage I heard you're getting a divorce is that true really yes I'm just wow. fishing I'm trying to get something going yeah, we're coming that. up on 23 years what was, your, what was your record there what? I was 20 years you were 20 just so we, 20 so we passed the stern though. 5 years of dating so I count that as 25 okay. years together no you're right okay? you're absolutely you, right he can count that absolutely okay. right. very hard record to beat I, I, but how really, long I'm have you shaking. known your lovely wife we, uh, this December is uh, 23 years does, that's 23 years all told? Yeah. I'll Which just tell you something. And, 23 years is the honeymoon. It's the last two that we're in the night. <laughs> Trust me. It's getting a little bumpy right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You are a delight. Thank you, darling. You really are. <laughs> and I will watch The Man Who Saved Christmas. I'll tell you no, why. You won't. It's a family so show. Yeah. And he'll get he'll put his dog on the... But you know what? We don't need you. <laughs> my don't dog watches your... TV. <laughs> yeah, see? Oh, my God, does my well, dog watch TV. Do you TV. have the dog now? I got the dog. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, yeah, I got an English bulldog. Wow, named uh, Bianca. Bianca. That's correct. <laughs> Beautiful dog. She's going to be appearing here tomorrow on the show. Really? Making her first appearance. Making her first time. appearance. And I'm going to uh, put pictures of her on the Internet for one reason. Because I don't need people chasing me around trying to get a picture of that. <laughs> and uh, my dog loves uh, Seinfeld. He loves Bob Patterson. The reruns. Oh, God. Loves them all. That's, uh, there's Bianca. Now. Yeah, now she loves The Sopranos. Does yeah. she? Now yeah. you know I've not seen one episode of The, uh, the Sopranos. I'm Why so, is that? I, I Professional don't... jealousy? No, 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 no. Were you offered the part, uh, James Gandolfini? Price? He, he was supposed to be. Tony. It was going to be a Jewish mob. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be the Jewish Tony? <laughs> That's right. I think you'd be terrific. Monica like Shrine on that show. <laughs> you're happy. You're well. Uh, things are good. Things are good. You know, I'm going to be doing a very nice job, actually. If you come out to L.A. after May, I'm doing uh, the producers out there with Marty Short. Oh, uh, Marty Ooh, Short. Marty what a Short. picnic. Oh, that little scene stealer. <laughs> what a hog. Good luck. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Still teaching that class? No, that just finished. Yeah, any high tricks on that class? Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. That oh. puts a strain on the... Uh... What was he teaching? I did a semester. I taught acting for a semester. Oh, USC. really? Oh. And any of the girls come on to you for extra grades? Uh, or? There, was some, uh, there was some inclination. There was some leaning. There was. Some... I imagine young college girls are impressed with the guy who's done what you've done. Sure. Well, they only know him as the chicken guy. Eh? <laughs> 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 your career, by the way. <laughs> well, you continue to entertain us. That's my job. You're That's a gentleman. That brings me happiness. You're a gentleman. God bless you. And you will be in the producers. Yes. Which uh, which part do you play again? 
<laughs> I will endeavor to, to be Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. Yeah. Uh, you will be Nathan Lane yeah. and the producers. And Marty Short will be Matthew Brother. Yeah, you don't think Marty Short will be over the top, do you? <laughs> He's going to pull it back a little bit. Think he'll be able to pull it back? <laughs> well, Marty has the romantic lead of the show. Well, good for him. Everyone will believe that. He's playing the young guy? He's the... Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Yeah. Don't ruin the ending, but i got to know, and everyone's asking, sure. in this movie you're doing Sunday night, is yeah. Christmas saved? I'm not going to tell you. Right. Jason Alexander, the man who saved Christmas. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> Mention it's on CBS, by the way. It's on CBS this it Sunday night at 9 o'clock. Right Everyone's looking for some family entertainment to watch That's with their children, right. and this if is what. Get into the Christmas is spirit, it. yes. Good for you. I'll be watching be on porn on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's playing uh, Win Fred's Money today for a children's education endowment. Don't fund. say that. They didn't oh, get anything. Right. Most shows, even though you play, they would just right, give, so something. give something. Me, I'm getting. Don't let the door hit me. In the we have nothing. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there's a lot of nice kids, but hey, nothing. you know, not we even, don't have, like, not even, even learn to read game next version year. of the show. <laughs> yeah. Is it really important that every child reads? <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to feel smart? <laughs> All right, Jason, once again, you've charmed us. Thank you, Howard. And uh, we look forward to your next appearance when you play Baba Booey in a game. Ah, <laughs> that will be exciting. He'll Baba play Bowie. each of us. Ba Baba Booey. I'm going to take you uh, to a foot race <laughs> next time you're here. All right, we're going to be back. Also, Adam Carolla's here. Yeah. The, the brilliant Adam Carolla. Who, uh, I got a show. I, I got a special coming up on uh, NBC. It's about, uh, it's about a guy. You know, 1947... Congress lobbied to get rid of Hanukkah, <laughs> but the guy who invented Operation stepped in and oh. saved the day. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a ripoff. No, 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 no. All right, we're going to be back right after these words. Oh, yeah.